While we can assume legendary NBA star Shaquille O'Neal has been spending time with his family during the lockdown and following government orders, we can also assume he's doing it in style. The man is far from just a former basketball star. He's built an empire from a bunch of different endeavors, and it's allowed him to buy more than one gorgeous mansion. We'll look at where Shaq calls home, we even found the listings. Shaquille Shaq O'Neal is a former pro basketball player and now a sports analyst on Inside the NBA on TNT. He's widely considered one of the greatest players in NBA history and played for six teams over his 19 year career. Although he's received many awards and accomplishments throughout his basketball career, it's definitely not the only thing he's known for. Shaq has released four rap albums, with the first even going platinum, appeared in numerous films, hosted reality shows, and much more. You can also call him Dr. Shaq. Yep, if all that success wasn't enough, he even completed his PhD because the man apparently loves to learn. What uh, motivated me to continue is, you know, this is the field that I wanted to be in, organizational leadership. So as I was studying, uh, you know, the experts, uh, you know, the John C. Maxwell, the Hersey's and Blanchard's, you know, I realized that, you know, some of the techniques that, that, that they apply were some of the techniques <coughs> that I was already using. Shaq's estimated net worth is said to be around $400 million or more. It's also reported he's the joint owner of 155 Five Guys Burger restaurants, 17 Auntie Annie's pretzel restaurants, 150 car washes, 40 24 hour fitness centers, a shopping mall, a movie theater, and several Las Vegas nightclubs. Damn, so the man really does do it all. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be taking a look at NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal's multi million dollar properties in Georgia, Florida and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We also do before and after videos on this channel where we talk about celeb transformation, so you should check out some of our latest ones on celebs like Britney Spears and TikTok star Charlie D'Amelio. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. The first home we'll take a look at is Shaq's previous place on the west coast. He bought this property back in early 2018 for 1.8 mil, and it was in the Bell Canyon area, which is just a few miles from Kanye and Kim's place. Although it's next to Hidden Hills in Calabasas, it's a slightly lower key neighborhood than that. The basketball star previously listed the home with an LA-based real estate agency around the end of 2019, but withdrew the listing and decided to try a new approach, Instagram. Yep, Shaq posted a video earlier this year, giving his millions of followers a look inside his LA mansion, located in a gated equestrian community. He was selling the place for 2.5 mil by the sounds of his captions, so let's take a look inside. Shaq's Bell Canyon mansion spanned 5,217 square feet of living space with 5 beds and 4.5 baths. It was situated on a gorgeous 1 acre lot where privacy was aplenty. According to Shaq himself, it was an open floor plan with 2 story foyer, which we can see from the photos is definitely grand. There are white marble floors and a sweeping staircase. The entry leads to a formal living room with vaulted beam ceilings and another living area with porcelain floors. Attached is the chef's kitchen which has marble counters, custom cabinets, and stainless steel appliances. This first floor also includes two dining rooms, a wine closet slash wet bar, a media room, a laundry room, an office, and one of the bedrooms. The entire home has an airy feel and the soaring ceilings were definitely a necessity for a resident as tall as Shaq is. Shaq updated the property over the years, including new carpeting, custom closets, and landscaping upgrades, according to Compass, who previously held the listing before Shaq took it into his own hands. Upstairs, you'll find the master suite and additional guest rooms. Shaq's previous room had a fireplace, dual walk-in closets, and ensuite bath with jacuzzi tub. Outside on the grounds of the house, there's of course a heated pool and spa, as well as a fire pit with ample patio space to kick back and relax. Shaq's IG listing also added that the house is walking distance from the community center, state-of-the-art gym, and tennis courts. Handy. Now we can move on to Shaq's insane estate in Florida, which he listed just before the one in LA. The mega estate was custom designed for Shaq and apparently full of exquisite details curated to deliver the ultimate luxury experience. The property is located in the posh gated golf community of Islesworth, which was also home to Tiger Woods and former NSYNC member Joey Fatone. The affluent community is located outside Windermere, Florida near Orlando, which means it's gotta be close to Disney. So I'm jealous already. 
Shaq's mansion sat on three acres, of course on 700 feet of lakefront, and he purchased it way back in 1993 for 3.95 mil. Back then it was a 23,000 square foot neo-colonial home and you bet Shaq fixed this place up. It doesn't even resemble the same home anymore, which is why he was able to list it for 28 mil. You'll see. His Florida mega mansion boasts 31,000 square feet of living space, and from aerial views, it looks more like a resort. There are 12 beds and over 11.5 baths, apparently, and luxury amenities at every turn. Inside, Shaq's house offers large open doorways, double height ceilings, and beautifully handcrafted wood paneling throughout. There's a formal dining room with seats for 16 and an epic 1,170 square foot great room with two story ceilings, a marble fireplace, and glass walls. Nearby, you'll find a chef's kitchen, games room, a gentleman's office, and a cigar bar with walk-in humidor and wine storage. The lakeside mansion also has a 6,000 square foot indoor basketball court and an aquarium style room with salt water triangular fish tank. From photos, I can also see some Egyptian style room which looks more like a museum and I'm not sure what that was for. Other luxury amenities include a soundproof home theater, a gallery hall designed for an art collection, and additional wet bars and fireplaces throughout. On the main level of Shaq's Florida Palace, there's a guest wing with five ensuite bedrooms, a great room, and a bar. The upper level of the home also has a master bedroom area spanning 900 square feet with a balcony. Also, here were the additional ensuite guest rooms and a four room master closet with custom shelving. Shaq is also known for his impressive car collection, so of course the home had a showroom like garage, as well as a 2100 square foot secondary garage with dance studio and recording studio. The fully walled and gated grounds of the home are just as impressive as the inside, and I'm not surprised the star called his swimming complex here Shakapolko. Outside there was a 95 foot long, 15 foot deep pool with custom rock waterfall, sunken hot tub, and tiki style open cabana overlooking Lake Butler. If you're wondering where Shaq lives now, now, word is that when he listed his other mansions in the market, he moved to Georgia. He bought this mansion some years ago in 2016, according to records, for $1.15 million. His mansion is located in McDonough, Georgia, which is about 30 miles from Atlanta and sits in over 14 acres of sprawling countryside. There are two homes on Shaq's property, the main structure built in 2008 with the smaller one constructed in 2006. Combined, they offer over 7,400 square feet of living space with 8 beds and 10 baths. This mansion has a classic and elegant design and the main home is brickline traditional. Walking in, there's a two-story foyer with large staircase as well as an office and gourmet kitchen with granite counters and a state-of-the-art appliances on the main level. There's a formal living room with fireplace here, large dining room, and a more casual family room attached to the kitchen. This overlooks the pool, offering walls of windows and another stone fireplace. Shaq's master suite is also located on the main level of the home and has a window lined sitting area, marble ensuite bath with jacuzzi tub and TV, as well as his massive his and hers closets. There's also a finished basement level in the main house, which has a 12 seat home movie theater, games room, and a gym. Not to mention an in law suite that's completely private. Outside on the park like grounds of Shaq's Georgia estate, of course, there's a swimming pool and spa. Across from this, the second residence offers three beds, two baths, and attached sun porch. Elsewhere on his property, there's a three stall barn and an attached spacious workshop. Rolling lawns and mature trees fill the grounds. Although Shaq doesn't have a showroom like garage for his car collection here, he does have a large motor court which sits off the entrance to the home. So now we've taken a look at NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal and his properties. There was his Bell Canyon home his mammoth-sized Florida estate and his current home in Georgia. I don't think any of them compare to that Florida home though. I mean, that place was crazy. I guess Shaq really didn't need over 30,000 square feet of living space. From what we've seen, which home was your favorite? I think the no-brainer is the Florida mansion, but honestly, it might be a little too big for me. I would lose my dogs in there. Personally, I like the style of his previous LA home the best. It was fresh and seemed like just enough space. Shaq also customized the home with a lot of unique artwork. Anyways, be sure to let me know down in the comments as well as what you did like or didn't like about Shaq's mansions. Tell me whose house tour should be up next and follow me on Instagram if you want to chat. Be sure to like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!